going on guys? It's your boy Javon from JVTV. Wrong channel. What's going on guys? It's your boy Javon from JVTV Reacts. And I'm back with another reaction video. Today I'll be reacting to Ricky Gervais monologue from the 2020 Golden Globes. Alright, I'm not familiar with Ricky Gervais, but I know that he's a comedian. I think he's a British comedian. And uh, somebody asked me to check this out, so I'm going to check it out. My goal is going into this is hopefully I laugh. If it can make me laugh, it's a win in my book. So I got the video pulled up. I got my headphones on. Let's check it out, man. Let's see if he's funny. Hello and welcome to the 77th annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Um, you'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so... I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. I never did. Um, NBC clearly don't care either. Fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And they've no idea what Twitter is. So I got oh, wow. offered this gig by fax. So, Let's go out with a bang. Wow. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon, and there's no sequel. So... <laughs> I yeah. like him already, man. I Remember like him that. already. Um, but you all look lovely, all doled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Shush. It's her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, okay? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone, uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Legends. Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, I love you, man. Don't have me whacked. Um, but tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Look, talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. It was a big... What? Yo, he just legit saying anything he wants to do. They give. I would have thought that. I don't know how it works, but it, it's it's nice knowing that they can he kill it. This man legit just says. He's like he seems like the type of guy just says whatever is in his mind. Like he don't care. He don't care who he offends because it's all just a joke to him. So it's just like I like that he can say whatever he wants on this. I wasn't expecting him to say that. Year for pedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly. Leaving Neverland, two popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Wow. <laughs> you don't care, like... Many yeah, that... talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we That's can do true. about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So... Oh, wow. Fifth time. So... Mm. We were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. So, maybe next year. Let's, let's see what happens. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this. OK? Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> hey, hey I, like, I like this dude, man. Like, this man do not care. Not only is he, he's talking about things that no other host on the, would talk about. And he's, he's making it 
as a joke, but at the same time, is is a serious thing. That everything that he's talked about so far is super true, and uh, I respect him for that, man. You know, like he does not care. Like people probably they're probably like in his ear right now, be like, hey, hey, shut up! You can't say that. You can't say these things. Like he don't care who he who he offends. You know, it's the truth. You had to make your own way here and your own plane, didn't you? Right. But m seriously, most films are awful, lazy, remakes, mm. sequels. I've heard a rumour that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. <laughs> <laughs> All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and mm. really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Wow. Have, we got a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. Wow. No point. We know He's we've done that. About everything. Um, Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? Yeah, it's so crazy how he's, every single issue in Hollywood, like, he just, like, calling it out for what it is because nobody else is calling it out. Like, even, like, that steroid thing, like, most of your favourite actors like how you think they get so big then buff like they're all taking steroids and they want you to think oh it's chicken and broccoli they, they're just injecting steroids like no one is talking about it he's finally speaking out on it it's tiny <laughs> right the irishman was amazing it was amazing um that, it was my fact my it was great uh Long, but amazing. Um, <laughs> it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long. Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Even Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate, you know. <laughs> you're nearly 50, son. Um, <laughs> The world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. Wow. You just say it like that. He was also in the movie Cats, but <laughs> no one saw that. Um, and the reviews, oh, shocking. Wow. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs. Right? <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play. Because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg, and licking her... Wow. Uh, they bleeped it out. I was wondering, like... I was wondering if they could bleep stuff out. <coughs> Furball. Furball. Wow. She's old school. Um... <laughs> it's the last time. Who cares? <laughs> oh. Apple roared into the... The TV game with a morning show, a superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, wow. right, come up, accept your little award, <laughs> thank your agent and your God. Wow. And... Wow. Wow. So... Wow. Wow. This man is... Wow. It's already three hours long. Wow. Everybody's stunned. He can't believe he's actually saying that. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. No wonder he said this is the last time doing it. The first award is for best actor in a television series, musical or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? <laughs> Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. Wow. Wow. Hey, I wasn't expecting 
this, but I, I get a huge appreciation. Now I'm going to look up all his comedy bits and listen to him and find out more information about him. Like, this man spoke it all. Like, he did not care. Uh, he told the truth. Like, he, he talked about stuff that probably no one would dare talk about. I'm surprised. No wonder he said this is his last time doing it. Let me know if this was actually his last time. I would have guessed that this was his last time. Like, the faces in the audience, everybody was just, like, stunned. They're like, is he really saying all those things? Like, he actually said it. He actually said it. I give him props for this, man. Uh, this was a good watch. Um, wow. This is a lot to unpack, too. You guys ever hear thoughts on this down below in the comment section? Uh, if you'd like me to react to anything else, just let me know down below. Usually, that's on this channel, I take my suggestions straight from the comment section. Um, yeah, please be sure to give this video a like and share, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching this video and not subscribed, subscribe with notifications turned on. Because you wouldn't want to miss a, a video, even if it's your suggestion. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jay. Peace. Essa daqui é pique, hein?